Heroes and heroines of all ages, when the world tells you to get a life, you're always welcome at the 1UP block. My name is Dan the Man, your host, and welcome back to another episode of Super Fighting Robot Mega Man. Uh, when we last left off, we took off a... We took off. We took on a Lech Man. We got a bunch... We got a big chunk of the game out of the way, actually. And uh, now we're going to be moving on to Iceman, who, quite frankly, has the best functionality out of all the Robot Masters. He's designed to perform human tasks in sub-zero temperatures, which a normal human could not, you know, do. Um, so, unfortunately, uh, Iceman stage is made a lot worse if you do it before getting the... Uh, I don't remember what this beam's called, but whatever this beam is, the walkway beam is what I'm going to call it. Uh, if you do this stage before getting that, it's a lot more annoying, unfortunately. Uh, mainly because of the disappearing blocks, because, you know, everybody loves those. Alright. Water just kind of slows you down, too, I think. It feels like it slows you down a little bit. Uh, and these penguins are just like the bullet bill things that just float up and down in a set pattern. They're not really that bad to deal with. Alright, get over. Ah, you son of a bitch. Alright. Health? No, of course not. But... Same rule applies, just get to the end before you die. Uh, I think we have plenty of lives, we do, uh, that I might not even need, to be honest. There's a lot of slowdown. That's not my computer, that's just how NES games worked back in the day, unfortunately. Alright, so here, just gonna use the turbo button to jump to make sure that thing doesn't get me. Oh no! Oh, balls! Alright, gotta make sure I get to the block. Okay. Oh, shoot! I was supposed to wait. See? This is why these are annoying. Alright, that's gonna pop up, that's gonna pop up. Wait for this. Jump over here, jump over here, and there we go. That one you actually just mandatorily have to do, but right here, you can actually take out your... I think it's called the Magna Beam? I wanna say? I don't actually know what the name of it is. Uh, but here is the main reason why this thing is just like... Oh, God. I did it the wrong way. This is why this beam is a godsend, because this place just sucks. And then when you fall down here, be careful not to take a shot from those. <sighs> Make sure not to get hit while you're standing on them, too, because if you get hit and you waste too much time, you're gonna fall off. Jump here. Oh, well, I guess it didn't work. Sometimes it does, you just can't reach that. Alright, I'll grab some of this, why not? I didn't waste any power-ups up to this point, so... Yeah, just to make this level a hell of a lot more tolerable. Okay, so the boss fight's coming up, and this guy's just gonna be a dick. There's nothing I can really do about that, so I'm just gonna take a shot, because it really doesn't matter. The boss fight with Iceman is just like the rest. It's pretty simple. As long as you have the corresponding weapon. It's easy to farm for lives in this place because of the penguins. I think they just infinitely spawn. So if you wanted, you can just sit here and shoot until you get what you want, which, I mean, there was a health boost that I didn't need. Let's take out the electric weapon, because electricity is what he's weak against. I feel like I should just let you guys listen to the music here. He only takes three shots from this, and using the weapon causes slowdown, so... And you can take damage from his shots even after he's dead, so that sucks. I'm glad they ch I, I'm happy for a lot of the changes that they made to Mega Man after the first game. The first game was their dipping their toe in the water and getting their feel for the thing, and then... Every game after the first one is just miles better. But I still respect the first one for doing what it did for the series. But uh, now all we got left is Fireman. And quite frankly, Fireman is... You know, he's... I guess he's the hardest of the bosses to fight. But the strategy I'm going to show you makes him pretty much a joke. Uh, he's an example of one of those boss fights that is better to not try and avoid his shots. Because he's going to shoot you mostly anyway. And trying to avoid him without getting a shot in edgewise... Uh, just makes it not worth it, so... I'm about to say, you better come up, you little bastard. This level's okay. It's, uh, it's really butt-clinchy if you're not good at Mega Man, so be forewarned about that. Uh, these fire guys are kind of dicks. They'll knock you off, and I would have died there, so... I would took the... the safe route and made sure I didn't fall. Uh, those healths really aren't worth it. You'll take more damage than you get back, so... Especially right here, where you'll take damage anyway, because this game is a dick. See? <laughs> uh, if you fall right here, you'll take damage from that fire, which 
is stupid, but you know, say lobby. Do what you can with what you have. To hell with those fires. Grab some health. Thank God, at least the game is nice enough to give you health in some places. Uh, I think that place is just pointless, so I guess... Oh, you can go back up and refill on hearts. Or health. Heart, not hearts. <laughs> uh, Mega Man doesn't run on hearts. He runs on energy, Dan. What are you... Oh, you can also force yourself to get take damage to just make it easier to get through some sections. Uh, so if you take a hit like that and then you just run, it makes it easier to get past some uh, obstacles. So, I don't know. You have to exploit the game. Even though I'm pretty sure they intended for it to work that way anyway. Uh, you just have to be smart enough to find the places where you have to exploit the game's programming. And uh, it makes a lot of more... It makes a lot of spots really, really m easier to deal with. Uh, especially in later games. You just have to be smart about where you go. And these things, for the life of me, I do not know how to avoid, so... It's always fun. I'm going to wait for it to go by. And jump. Hop, 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 hop. Do the bunny hop, 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 hop. Okay, so we just want to run across here as fast as possible. Ignore the energy up there because I do not, do not need it. And here's the boss fight. Uh, they have these little turret things that you can attack for health, which I guess we kind of need it. Using the boomerang will make it easier because it's just an easier arc than your buster shot. Your buster shot will take way more attention to do so. So, you know, do with what you have. Uh, but I think I could take him on with uh, the health I have. Probably not, but because, like I said, you're going to have to take shots. Uh, let's see if I got what it takes. All right. So just get as close to him as possible and just start immediately shooting him. And there he goes. You can avoid. Uh, if you get closer to the right side of the screen, your shots go off the screen and it makes... Uh, you can only shoot one ice shot per shot, and once it goes off screen, you can shoot another one. So the closer you are to the right side of the screen, the easier it is to just keep firing off pop shots at them. And you just want to do that and take as much damage as needed and just get it over with. Uh, but as you see, I had to, like, half health and still kicked his ass. But, uh, yeah, here's the Dr. Wily stages. We haven't got a game over yet, I don't think, so that's that's new. He gets in his UFO, which we will be seeing a lot of, unfortunately. <laughs> this stage right here, this this opening area is really annoying. Just because of this guy right here. I don't like them. Ah! If I have him follow me, another one won't spawn, so... Okay, I think that's enough. He's not going to spawn again. Okay. I do know there's another one. All right, kill them, except, see, that's the irritating thing, is they spawn back if you go off screen, but thankfully I killed that one before it went off screen again. Oh, I do not like these guys, Sam I am. I do not like them with green eggs and ham. I'm gonna kill you just because you're an asshole, and then we're just gonna move on. All right, need Gutsman's weapon here. If you take the top row, then you use less energy, which I think you actually do need Gutsman's ability, so. It's only to get past a little obstacle, though. <sighs> See, this part's stupid. This is where that butt-clenching thing comes into play, because look at this tight jump you have to make. Like, fuck that jump. I made it easier the second time, but, you know, that happens. Uh, you could go for this health tank if you really want to, which I will. It didn't do anything, though, so no, no, no harm, no foul. As long as you're holding left, you'll land on that platform. Uh, do not let these guys knock you down that ladder because you'll have to come up and take another extra pop shot. You're going to take a shot from that guy in the first place anyway because he's a dick. But, um, yeah, this is where you need Gutsman stuff to get through. I think the next part isn't as bad. No, this part does kind of suck. So I'm going to wait up here. No, I'm not. I'm going to wait down here. No. Make sure he... No! Come up here. There we go. Okay, so while he's up there... Move along. If he knocks you into the spikes, there's no uh, recovery time for you to jump out of the spikes. You will die instantly, even if you're flashing. Uh, so I find it easiest to just use the magma beam here because spikes suck. And then you're going to need the magma beam again, so collect these energy tanks. 
Uh, if you come up here and drop again, the energy will be back, so don't worry if you, like, use too much. So using this, you'll be able to hop over here. Then you're going to need to hop up here quickly because the energy beam does not last very long. And that's why the energy beam thing is required, because you have to get through that, obviously. Now, this boss fight here, I'm going to cheat on because, to be perfectly honest, fuck this boss. It's super irritating to fight normally, and it's just not worth it, honestly. Uh... It's called the Yellow Devil. If you know, if you played Mega Man at all, then this guy is infamous anyway. As long as you're a fan, uh, you probably even know about him, even if you don't know Mega Man. But the trick is, you just keep pressing select, and he'll take constant damage from the elect beam. And there he goes. I mean, I dodged him pretty easily, but it's just such a time-consuming fight because you can only get one pop shot off per each time he forms and he doesn't take enough damage from it and it's just a it's like a marathon it, it it's not a marathon it's uh what do you call that it just takes a lot of patience and it's annoying and it's not a fun boss fight it's stupid but uh you know i apologize if you didn't want to see me fight that unfairly maybe i'll make a video of me attempting to do it fair these guys are dumb so i just wait for this guy to show up and i think if i get closer i can just yeah that'll do That'll do, di th yeah, that'll do, pig. That'll do. Alright, get rid of those guys. Don't worry about that health, because it really doesn't matter right now. Shoot off the energy to get rid of those guys. And I think there's a boss fight right here? Yeah, there's a boss fight right here. I it's with Cut Man. Uh, you don't have any of Guts Man's uh, rocks around to throw, so you have to fight him fair. Not hard to do, as long as you stay on the ground and let him throw his boomerang and hop over it, and then shoot him. He hops over you, continues this... Uh, pattern. He tries to stay on top of you like a dick, but he's really nothing too special. Uh, this part's pretty easy. You just avoid the shots and then jump across. Avoid the shots, then jump across. Oh, that time he didn't shoot off. Uh, who's the next guy? I think it's a leg man, I want to say. So I'm going to take out the boomerang just in case. It's probably not a leg man, though. Oh, no, it's a leg man. Good. Okay, so I threw the, throw the boomerang. Uh, gotcha. Alright. You do not get health in between these boss fights either. It kind of sucks. They changed that in the uh, upcoming games, but right, these shots are stupid and irritating to dodge. You just have to basically jump, let them explode, and then go about your business. Huh. Nothing too serious. I believe the next boss fight is going to be irritating as balls, though. Uh... I don't really know the proper way to fight him, to be perfectly honest. So I just, I'm, I just be as cheap as possible. And that seems to work out perfectly for me. Uh, you don't need the magna, the, the magna beam. I don't know what it's actually called. Just call it the bridge. If you use the bridge beam, uh, actually we can use a luck man's weapon to get rid of these guys really easily too, so they don't do any damage to me. Because I do need as much health for the next boss fight as possible. All right. See, the weapons are really helpful. To be perfectly honest. Uh, yeah, that wasn't a good idea. Oh no, a life. I could have actually probably used that, but... You know, it shit happens. Oh, that was not a good idea. Bye! Someone texted me. Got him. Got him. No health. Thanks, game. I appreciate that. I'm probably... Someone texted me again. Uh, probably gonna die the first time. Jesus, who has texted me? Okay, so here's the infamous, uh, well, he's not really infamous. He's not as bad as the Yellow Devil by any means, but, um, this is a clone. Uh, normally it would be Mega Man, but, uh, it's a roll right now. She does everything you do, so be wary of that. What I like to try and do is just is push her to the other edge and just keep shooting, because she'll always jump and shoot, and when you jump and shoot... Did I die? What did I get shot by? That was lame, but uh, yeah, I think there's a there's a weapon that makes him or well, yeah, him or her, depending on if you're using the mod or not, uh, that makes them easier to fight. And I think it's the flame weapon, if I'm not mistaken, but don't quote me on that. Uh, but every time I fight her, I just use the uh, Mega Buster because it seems to do the best. Personally, you just keep shooting. She'll hit you the first time, and then you just keep shooting and force her back. Uh, 
I don't really know how to make her start going backwards because she seems to just be a dick and starts coming towards you and there's nothing you can do about that. And then she does a shit ton of damage if she touches you. Alright. See? And... Ah, don't... Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna save stay right here so we don't uh have to come back just in case. So, move the mouse off the screen. I apologize if you don't didn't want to see me using a save state. But, I mean... Do you really want to see me do that level over again? I don't want to take the time to do that level over again anyway. So this just makes it faster. The level wasn't hard. You saw me get through it. Uh, I want to say you want to use the flame weapon on her or him, maybe. So I'm just going to try that. Let's try the flame weapon. We haven't actually used it yet, so. That way, if she gets close to us, we'll still do damage because of the flame wall thing. But if she touches us, she does a lot of damage. Got her. Di no! I didn't! Are you serious? Oh man, hold on. Loading state. That was stupid. So yeah, I guess this boss is kind of annoying depending on how you look at it. Oh boy. Well, this is... At least this episode's not gonna be... At least this Let's Play isn't gonna be two episodes long. I guess that's a... That's nice. <laughs> Come on, you little douche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so let's start fighting. Jump. Jump. Jump and shoot, man. I believe she does more damage if she touches you. I want to say, anyway. It's hard to tell which one I am. Did I lose again? It's ugh, it's so confusing. Okay, seriously, this is not cool. All right, I'm gonna try my uh my attempt at being the regular again. As a matter of fact, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save state as soon as this boss fight starts, because waiting is just really annoying because of this stupid little animation here. It's cool the first time, but not being able to skip it is kind of irritating. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I'm just gonna quick save state here. At least I'm being honest with you about save stating, right? <laughs> you still take a crap ton of- Get off, please! I guess you can easily dodge its attacks though, so I mean, it's not so bad. But your Mega Buster only does one d piece of damage. I think jumping makes her run backwards. Yeah, apparently it does. So I'm just gonna jump up and down. Hopefully, this will cheap her out. Oh my god, she's coming at me. No! Get get the fuck away! Do you mind? Did I? I seriously just keep dying as... Are you serious? You fucking asshole. Just fucking die. I don't know what makes her run backwards, but usually I can get her in just this pattern where she just keeps to the right wall but I can't seem to pick it up right now Ugh. she does more damage than me and that's kind of bullshit could you not could you make like a shoe and not Jesus Christ oh all right let's try the fire weapon again that's gonna hit me I mean there's nothing I can really do about that so Okay, this seems to be working. Maybe the fire thing does more damage when it touches her from my... Oh, did I do it? Oh, I did it, thank God. Ugh, to hell with that boss fight. <laughs> so I was going about it the wrong way. The fire weapon was superior, obviously, so I guess I should have took that into account. I did not. Oh well, we all make mistakes sometimes. But uh, yeah, this is another part of the stage, but we're gonna have to save this for next time because that's all the time we have for this episode. A hero's work is never done. Join me again next time as we continue to tackle Mega Man. <laughs> Later days, everybody.